Hello, hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome to my channel again. Today I will show you how to configure the wheels, pitch band, modulation and any other knob that you have in your MIDI keyboard or your Yamaha keyboard, Roland, Roland keyboard, whatever you have. And the only thing is that your keyboard needs to support USB MIDI and we will connect all of this into FL Studio. FL Studio in a trail version uh, so you can download it for free. It's a version number 20. However, now newer version are available. However, all this knowledge is pretty universal and you can apply it whatever version you have. And what we will be doing it. Okay, so and why I am actually doing it. So I would like to show you how to contact this controller, how to, you know, uh, synchronize them. Because, for example, but the default, if your uh, keyboard is, uh, you know, um, recognized in an options you can see in mini devices midi devices midi settings f10 and this is a general generic controller our yamaha psr 670 has a midi support however uh, it's not recognized as any of these devices in here so to you know control a knob which we want we need to add some stuff and by the default as, an, as I am noticed that we can control the modulation X because it is pretty, you know, uh, known signal MIDI. Here on the top uh, left, you see that it's changing this value because it is receiving MIDI signal. However, I would like to control the modulation Y by using the pitch band. And how to do this? Well, it's very simple. So, first you need to manually move your value, the, the knob or option that you want to change. For example, this Y modulation, okay? I also moved X, however, we go to tools, we go to last week, and we check what was the last week. Last week was modulation X, and it is, you know, connected to modulation wheels, so let's go to last, next to last week, because sometimes we move Two options at the same time and this is the modulation Y and this is the modulation Y and we choose the link to controller and now we have this option auto detect so the only thing you need to do is to move the pitch band for a moment this window automatically disappears and now if I'm moving the pitch well pitch band it works and modulation also so we are able to control in two dimension the modulation values okay so let's get started and, and try how it flies okay a word or two about my setup and actually why i'm doing this uh, so, because you, you may know from my channel that inside this Yamaha, there is a synth uh, synthesizer, uh, we can model the sound, however, the options of this are very limited. I'm looking at the hardware synthesizer device, uh, the keyboard, with keyboard, so this all-in-one device. However, I wish to try the quality of these plugins uh, from the FL Studio, and I noticed that Citrus plugin because this is what we are talking now citrus is very cool and at the beginning maybe i will show you how to inst uh, you know choose it so you are pressing on this first kick by the default there is a kick so you are selecting replace and then you choose citrus okay and the citrus will load and now the great thing at the beginning about Citrus, which I haven't noticed in any other, uh, even in uh, this paid Cubase uh, synthesizer, software synthesizer, is that it is polyphonic. You can play one sound, two sound, three sound. So you can play chords, it's great. Okay, so let's try some, you know, presets. Uh, this actually is a keyboard <laughs> for computers, so I am easily, I am able to easily manipulate the computer, and you also are able to see. 
what's going on on the screen. So um, let's change the preset. It is here in the top left, um, top right corner of the Citrus plugin window. And you are selecting one of the hundreds of presets. And for example, dark, some let's try some pads. Dark X pad. Now let's play. Really nice dark, you know, fat sound. And by using these knobs, you could easily make a lot of things with this. So let's try something else. The decadent. <laughs> Also very nice distorted sound. Okay, so of course you can sit in here and play in hours with this dramatic. As I remember, it was nice. <laughs> Great, this, this, you know, the complexity of this sound and this plugin is absolutely fantastic for me. And, you know, uh, why I'm actually doing is, as I said before, I'm considering buying a hardware synthesizer because I really love this, you know, way of creating music. Um, but some software are even the greater than the hardware. However, of course, you need to do some stuff. To prepare it and you may know from my video I'm not very fan of sitting in front of computer and, and playing and doing some music. Uh, Gandalf Gandalf the White <laughs> Okay, let's leave the pads and let's try something harder, some, some you know, synth, sort synth maybe. Um, let's check something on the soul wave, so aggressive. So the sort synth are here. Uh, maybe, maybe hyper soul pluck. <laughs> There is a lot of option in here. You can play with the sound and of course save it as your own preset. However, in a trial version, probably you won't be able to do this to save, but you know, hundreds of presets in here are so great that you can, you know, easily use it, you know, and to create some music or get some inspiration. If you're built in synthesizer if, in your hardware or, you know, 
uh, electronic keyboard is not enough for you. Uh, okay. I'm looking for some aggressive stuff. Uh, I don't remember where they were. Maybe another fat soul. <laughs> Okay, here I change for the FX section, there are filter section, there are a lot of, you know, options and steps in this, the basic is, uh, you know, triangle wave or, or you just, you know, I don't want to discuss the, the synthetic sizer, you know, theory and the, the, the concept. However, I'm only showing you some of the presets and how actually for free you can, uh, you know, get some nice, nice sounds, really nice sounds. The quality of this is, is great. I am recording this in high quality, so you are able to hear all the nuances of the sound and they really are, are great. Um, okay. It's a sequence. You know, pure synthetic sound with bit. It is only possible in <laughs> great mathematics and, you know, uh, wave function stuff with a lot of oscillators, a lot of filters, low pass filter, high and so on. Okay, so of course, if you are interested, how to you know compose such a you know in, um, synthetic instruments, and you are interested in more you know this topic, just give me a comment. I will try to do something. Synth bass in a sequence category. <laughs> try. I'm still looking for some nice. Alright, this is my sequence metallic gate. of course touch sensitive i'm only playing three notes and and you can hear how many stuff only moving the modulation wheels i can you know get from this it's, it's lovely stuff all right so um hyper byte size where is this byte size and forget about it i cannot find it it was really nice um greasy brass and this polyphonic synthesizer is great Okay, so to summarize, because I don't want to take all the time, I, I could, of course, do it in, in an hour. So, if you have a MIDI keyboard uh, or old synthesizer with MIDI output and you want to use modern software uh, like this FL Studio, you, of course, we can do the same thing on a Cubase uh, elements. I got this paid version, however, those, um, I still can't remember the name, maybe I will start it. 
um, how it, what's the name of it um, of course I need to close the FL studio because the uh, AGO drivers will you know will be fighting on each other okay and here exactly is the same you can add instrument track uh, Halion Sonic the uh, version 3 it's called this this uh, and we can actually do the same thing in here. However, probably we need to restart it again. Because now it won't. But the, this Halion Sonic is uh, much um, worse, I think. The, the quality of citrus uh, or even poison is much better. However, poison is uh, monophonic, like this one is also monophonic. Uh, so, of course, you can try it with a lot of other producer software. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. Of course, the great quality always costs you money. However, I think uh, in this video, we will find some inspiration. How could you, you know, uh, make your, your production uh, more you know interesting how to find new inspiration new sounds because this synthetic sounds and these controllers that I have shown you in this video uh, it could be really useful you know without spending uh, hundreds of dollars to you know new equipment uh, you can use a software and even the cheapest MIDI keyboard with some knobs or pads you can attach this option to the software and play it of course the the, the first and the main disadvantage of this is that you need to have a computer in your home studio to connect it with this USB MIDI cable and then get the output using the digital USB uh, audio interface. It could sometimes make uh, some problems with latency. However, on my channel, you will find some top tips and tricks about it. So thanks for watching. It was BB Walker. If you like this video, just give me a comment, give me a thumb up. If you don't like this kind of video, just also, please leave a comment and I won't be making uh, this topic um, anymore. So thanks again for watching. It was BB Walker Synthetic Sound. See you later.